Hi guys, I am here to do a quick video on deep breathing for anxiety. So there is a right and a wrong way to do deep breathing to reduce your anxiety and I want to share with you guys how to do it. So there's two things that you want to remember in order to activate your rest and digest system and deactivate your flight or flight system which is heightened when you have anxiety. So the first thing you want to remember is to have your exhales longer than your inhales. And this is going to send a signal to your brain that you're safe, that it's okay, and will calm you down and reduce your anxiety. So you wanna inhale through your nose like you are smelling a rose, and you wanna exhale through your mouth like you're blowing out a birthday candle. And when you do this, you want your exhales to be longer. So you're gonna inhale to four and exhale to five. So inhale. Exhale. So that's how you're gonna exhale longer. Inhale for four, exhale for five. Inhaling through the nose like you're smelling a rose and exhaling like you're blowing out a birthday candle. And when you do this, the second thing you wanna remember is you wanna have di your diaphragm expanding and you do that with deep belly breathing. And you can start by putting your hand on your stomach to kind of feel your stomach going in and out. And when you inhale for four, it goes out. And when you exhale for five, your belly goes in. So those are two things that you can use to reduce your anxiety using deep breathing. And it's easy, just remember those two things, exhale longer and deep belly breathing. And it helps to inhale through your nose like the rose and exhale through your mouth like you're blowing out a candle. Um, if you want to know more about treating anxiety, I have an, a, vi a video that I will link below on how to treat anxiety naturally, um, as well as I have a blog that I will link as well. Um, please let me know what you think about this technique, if it helps you. It's good to practice deep breathing, not only when you're anxious, but when you're not, so you can have the skill practice, and so when it's time to use it, you just go right into it and your body calms down. So practice makes perfect and these two skills, these two tips will help you make sure you're doing it the right way. Okay, now let's say.